please welcome our very good friend, Mr. Jack Black! <laughs> Quite a tale uh, to tell our audience. A tale we do. Uh, it will sound quite strange, but is absolutely true. Uh, yeah. You were the healthiest I've ever seen you <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, and now we see you here uh, uh, in, I think, a uh, little kind of banged up shape. You don't look well. Let me just start off by saying I love you, Conan. <laughs> Uh, I've always loved you since, uh, since the year 2000. <laughs> no one says I love you with more menace than Jack Black. Since the year 2000. I mean, I loved you from before that, but that was the first time we met in yeah. person, my first ever talk show appearance and I was scared as hell. I was petrified, I'd never been in front of a late night audience before, and you were so smart and funny and kind. It was the best way to like enter the late night television world, and I will always feel a special connection with you and worship you. And, um, and I have to say, Andy is the most incredible sidekick of all yes, time. Yes, he is. Smart shit off the top of your head. <laughs> no one else. I could never replace you. I know that I said I wanted to replace you. I want to set the record straight right now. That means a lot. I, to that me. was hot air. I, <laughs> I claimed I was going to replace you, yes. yeah. and that was all bullshit. I could never do it. I'm not smart enough. And what boys, happened there? I'm getting off the rails here. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of pressure here because there's it's not, your last there's, show. There's no pressure. We love you. We've loved you since the time we met you. Uh, you are an absolute delight and love having you uh, on the last show. I just feel a little bad, and I need to tell this story. <laughs> do you want me? Uh, do you want to tell it? I <laughs> want to tell it. Why don't you so tell it? We wanted it to be extra special uh, because you know he's Collins and he's uh, he's the king and. And so we, caught, we, caught, we came up with this big musical number that was going to involve a lot of like physicality and, and, and I was going to get injured in the middle fake. of the musical fake. number. You were going to fake an injury. Fake an injury and then the, the paramedics were going to come in and take me on a gurney out into the ambulance and then I was going to say, hell no, get me, I'm dying, I love Conan too much. And I was going to run back and we filmed this yesterday, we did a pre-tape of me running back to the theater. And you did it time and time again. You yeah. kept doing it, and uh, you, you we, we, there were discussions like it could be better, maybe it could be better. You are a perfectionist. But you... the crazy thing is, I actually injured myself yes. for real. <laughs> running back to the Right out here, right out here. <laughs> He's doing a bit, he, we're pre-taping a bit that we were gonna roll in tonight, where Jack pretends to hurt himself, and then, <laughs> We thought we had it, and we were like, we'll do one more. He's running around, rolls your ankle. I rolled You the go ankle. down. We're all horrified. We go rushing out. And I then crumpled like we a have an ambulance potatoes. there to shoot the bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the funniest part. I know that you were in great pain. The funniest part is we had an ambulance there. <laughs> and so I'm yelling at these two guys, like, we got to help him, we got to help him. And they were like, no, we're actors. <laughs> And then I, they said, but we just need an ace bandage. And I said, well, get one out of the ambulance. And they said, no, it's a fake ambulance. <laughs> so then someone, we have these two guys dressed as ambulance drivers with an ambulance who drove to CVS and bought ace bandages. <laughs> it's the but stupidest it thing I've ever seen. It was a really quick run to CVS, though, I have to say. <laughs> they made it and wrapped up the ankle. 
And today I went and uh, just to be safe, I got an MRI. Uh -huh. And they were like, yeah, nope, it's a real sprain. You got, you got some damage there. You're going to have to take it easy. No dancing, no running, no physical craziness for a while. You're going to have to heal up. And I was so bummed because I was like, I wanted to be the best guest of all time for your final episode. And instead, I am literally the lamest <laughs> of all time. But can I just say something? To me, and I'm sorry you got hurt, and I know you're going to get better soon. I was sorry. I felt so terrible when you fell. But it also, I have to say, felt fitting for, <laughs> for our show. You know, here we are, and when shows, you know, when Carson went off in Letterman and all these legends go off the air, everything is meticulous. Of course, <laughs> we would think of a bit with Jack where Jack pretends to get hurt, and while shooting it, Jack gets hurt. <laughs> that we're the only show that would ever, don't you think? We're the only show in the history of the medium that would ever do that. It's somehow fitting. Right. Well, Johnny, Johnny would have had Jack shot. <laughs> <laughs> Just how they did it. I thought about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but in all, in all seriousness, Collins, um, the doctor did not say that I couldn't sing. Hey, Colin, you are my friend. You are the best, and so is Andy. <laughs> you rock, you make us laugh. You are so sweet, like cotton candy. <laughs> I wrote this song today. That's why the lyrics are so shitty. <laughs> But more, much more than this, he did it cold.